I'll tell you something now, there's not many camp spots that you go to and you get a view like this straight out of your van. Hey everyone, eagle-eyed viewers will recognise this camp spot from last week's video. And as I didn't have Wi-Fi or mobile signal at this site, my mind started to do thinking. While sat drinking beer and watching my fire pit like a TV, and because the weather was nice, I decided that I wanted to go climb a mountain and stay another night in the Lake District. This posed a few problems though. I only had supplies for one night, I hadn't booked a campsite, and more importantly, I'd not informed the boss of my decision. Little did I know that later that day I would find a campsite that had some of the best views from my camper van I've had to date. Stay tuned to find out more, and while I have your attention, if you haven't already, it would be amazing if you could take a few moments to subscribe to the channel. We love it when you do. Nice. Right, so because this was a last minute decision, I don't actually have any food for tonight. So, let's go grab some supplies before we go to our first park up of the day. Providing I can get out of this. Yeah, of course I can. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Supplies got. Gonna have some uh, omelettes and salad and all sorts of other bits tonight. I've also got myself some flapjack for the walk. We should be absolutely rocking. Oh no, I've dropped my phone. Uh, it's gone into the pit of nothingness. I'm here at Coniston. I'm in the car park that's going to take me up Coniston Old Man. And I was just about to set off and I realised my battery was flat on my phone. The reason for that is because I forgot to charge it up last night. And then this morning I said to myself, it's fine. I'll put it on charge while I'm driving down to Coniston. About an hour in van, no problems. Forgot to do that as well, didn't I? So I've just nipped to the shop, grabbed myself a coffee and I've put my phone on charge. And do you know what? This is funny because the video I've just done recently about having power banks and things like that, and then the one that you should have on you all the time is one of those little portable power banks. Yep, I know where that is. That's on the table in the living room. So I've come to pay for parking, and this actually does my head in. So you've got up to two hours, five quid, up to four hours, seven quid, up to 24 hours, 8.50. Now, if I wanted to go for four hours and five minutes, I have to pay 8.50. Do you know what I mean? And there's no other option on the app either. It's ridiculous, and when you try and put money in, it gives you those options. You can't do, it doesn't give you another option of five hours or six hours. It's either four or 24. So I've had to pay £8.50 to park here, which is ridiculous. <laughs> doesn't fit my Yorkshire wallet. Two hours later. I'm at 40% on my battery on my phone, which is ace, but I've also just realised something. This little case thing that I used to charge my um, batteries in, my camera batteries, while I'm on the go, um, is also a little power bank using the camera batteries. So if I do get stuck, then at least I've got another 20, 30% of battery to put into the phone. <sighs> right, we're charged, let's go. Oh, it's bloody warm, I tell you. Thankfully, though, I've brought some shorts. Well, they're my trousers, but they turn into shorts with a zip. So I'll probably be taking those off at some point. I like an idiot in them, but no more so than I do in my Lycra when I'm cycling. This is nice, it's great, it's good for the head. It's good for the mind, it's good for the body, and it's good for the soul. 
and I highly recommend it to anyone watching, even if it's just a short walk. Oh, beautiful. I'm still reeling about that freaking eight quid that I've had to pay for the car park though. That's so annoying. <laughs> Well, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't expecting to see a car up here, <laughs> not after what I've just climbed, but uh, looking down that way, it looks like there's a road and then he's come up this little bit here, um, but he's repairing paths, so he's allowed, but that would be an epic spot, that wouldn't it, for the camper, just there, looking out, oh, I keep having to stop and wait for people to pass me, because you get into that awkward kind of synchronisation, do you know where they'll go a bit and then stop and then you'll go a bit and then you'll pass them and then you'll stop and then they'll pass you so uh, yeah i've done about half a mile doing that with a couple that are uh, they're just up there now and i'm not uh, i'm not setting off just yet i was just about to say i've waited long enough now for that couple to get far enough away and there's another one behind me so i don't know whether to just crack on i think i'm going to do that otherwise i'll just end up if you just end up crossing them over and over and over again higher Oh yeah, and then eventually like Lick a paint, that'll be alright that. <laughs> nice. I'm assuming this was the office. I've just passed a load of cables. Maybe part of the old slate mine and stuff. Riving shed. Saddle stone. They might have put these up. Like National Heritage and stuff. But there's all sorts of cool stuff. Like rail tracks and cables and a bit of machinery. This is ace. Wow. This old man is on top of old man. That sounds really rude. <laughs> and the views are absolutely spectacular. Almost 360. Oh, in fact, yeah, 360. You can pretty much see every single fell in the Lake District and the sea. Oh, utterly, utterly worth it. Without a shadow of a doubt. If you're able, get yourself up old man at Coniston. Oh. It's not a walk if you don't go for a pint afterwards, is it? Nice. Nah, something now there's not many camp spots that you go to and you get a view like this straight out of your van oh look at that uninterrupted views beautiful i mean it's a farm it's basically a farm that you can camp on so don't expect hilton hotel there's horses down there she said there's goats sort of going around there's horses over here i love horses best of all the animals i there's a sheep over there Campsite tour is going to be pretty quick. Uh, there isn't much here, uh, but you'll find out in the campsite tour anyway. It's very basic and absolutely awesome. <laughs> I think I'm going to be happy here tonight. Oh. <laughs> And I think I found two really beautiful campsites that are very simple campsites, but 
have just amazingness around them. You know, last night I was sat next to a river with a tree in my own little spot. It was beautiful. Tonight I've got an epic view, undisturbed, and there's probably two or three other campers on site at the moment, uh, all keeping themselves to themselves, which is fine. And uh, a free fire pit. I mean, I can't take it home, obviously, but they're all dotted around and stuff uh, on each kind of plot. So I thought I might as well use that rather than uh, dirty in mine again because I had to clean it this morning obviously to put it away and uh, free bit of wood on it so happy days well I think I've gained a dog which is brilliant she keeps just coming up to me and uh, flopping on her belly so I can stroke her <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is go have a shower and I shall let you know how they were afterwards um, and then get some dinner on very simple dinner tonight simple dinner for a simple person <laughs> Now that's me all showered and clean and I am so happy now. But yeah, the showers, they are what they are. Um, it's not a sheep dip. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I think everything pales into insignificance when you've got a view like that, a fire pit and some beers in the fridge. A couple just behind me, you can see they're on in, in a V-dub. And uh, the couple that were already here um, at the other side with a tent, they've just rocked up in a V-dub as well. So we're V-dub friends. Oh, friend! There's nothing better than getting camped up after a big walk and a shower, knowing that you're just chilling. It's properly, properly nice. I filmed the campsite tour. That didn't take long. Um, and yeah, watch people set up, which is exactly what you go camping for, isn't it? <laughs> Well, it's not your conventional dinner, but uh, that's pretty much all the shop had that I went into. Nice, happy days. So today's step two of choice is a brew dog lost. I quite like this, it's lovely. And uh, with that view and my sense of direction, this is perfect. Also, I've broken my Yorkshire sign. Well, not the sign, but where it's attached to, because I dropped the board this morning when I were getting the bed away. And, uh, and the screw came out and it's fallen off. So an easy repair, but at the moment it's looking sorry for itself. I'll do a bit of B-roll. <laughs> and there's no point putting the fire pit on just yet because it's not cold enough to, and I'd be wasting my wood. That's what she said. I don't think I'm gonna get tired of that view. I wish I was staying even longer, but I don't think I could wang another day. Got to go back and do Aldi shop. <laughs> I might go have a nosy over that way and see what there is. Right, I'm gonna have a nosy. If there's anything worth telling you about or showing you, then um, I'll be back. Well, I came for a nosy and I noticed a gate just there and I thought, oh, maybe that's like a public footpath out somewhere. But it's all chained up and locked. Um, nice little 300 yards of loveliness, I suppose. Don't know. Uh, that's about it. Dead tree, good firewood. So if I run out, plenty of that. Because you're on a farm, there's quite a lot of sheep poo. So uh, yeah, look out for that. <laughs> Mossside Campsite in Coniston is a family and pet friendly working farm with a field at the back for camping. It's quite a small site so I'm going to try something a bit different with this one. So after recording the campsite tour I thought to myself this sounds like the top of the pops top 40. So I inserted a couple of little audio clips in between the campsite tour to make it sound more like the top 40. Anyway, enjoy. Toilet block, shower room with curtains, showers that are push button, piggy sign. It's not Kajagoogoo, it's Undercover Pot Wash. Also, this is where you get your water from. And a new entry at number 37. Logs for sale at a very specific time. Rail cabins for hire. Epic views from most of the campsite. Skip. Up four places, it's I have no idea why this hut is here. Flowers. Views. Signpost. Views. Sheep. Horses. Sheep. Views, no Elson point as far as I could see, dog friendly, no electric hookup, £25 per night. So the weather's changed a little bit, it's dropped and uh, the clouds have come in and the wind's picked up. Right then, 
Firepit is Littus. Well, good morning. I uh, woke up this morning to a chewing noise and a rubbing against my van. I wondered what it was, and it was a sheep. So sorry I didn't do the Colin answers your question section last night. I got distracted by both sides of me uh, chatting away and stuff. And that's why I love camping, because everyone just talks to everyone. It's ace. So just to reiterate, don't come here if you want in the perfect campsite. Um, it's far from that. This is literally pull up, camp. That is it. Um, you could obviously go for a walk and everything like that. And, and it, is, it is lovely. You just have to dodge the sheep poo. Um, when you're having a shower, just assume that you're a sheep. Um, and... Just embrace being outdoors more than anything else. Right, I'm going to go. I'm waffling. I shall see you guys on the next adventure. Take care. See you. Bye. Cock and balls. Ken. There's a minute and a half of me doing nothing. Wait a minute. <coughs> one, two, one, two. So, I've had... <coughs> But old man of Coniston's up and over that and over the top there and there's somebody else looking at me. Friggin' hell. <laughs> well, I'll be on, oh, I'm a bit sweaty. Brilliant. Little, uh, little kind of valley just over here. Tiny place. Lovely though, it's nice. Leeds United are playing. It's the uh, playoff semi-final, second leg, and if we don't win it, we are staying in the championship. Oh, the fuck, oh wait a minute, that's not even straight.